All right, wrestling fans, we're coming off that huge Monsters Brawl match, and right now we're fixing to see the RCW Hardcore title is now up for grabs in triple threat match act. And I'm telling you, Daniel, I don't know. Uh, that elimination chamber was just unbelievable. Do you think these three guys are going to be able to top this in a triple threat Hardcore match? Well, I, I think so. I mean, it's a great way to do it. You go from one hardcore match straight into another. And being that it's just not a normal singles match, it's a triple threat. This one's going to get deadly pretty quick. That's very well possible. Right now we see the Messiah, Nick Daniels, making his way to the ring. And, you know, he, he's been uh, having it rough on RCW lately. And, uh, yeah, his debut match was an attack match with Chaser. And they took all... Uh, I can't even remember who they fought. I think it was Adam Sandler and Spock. That's Nick Daniels' only victory thus far. But for some reason, Paris Hilton and Stan see something in Nick Daniels. They see potential. And he was entered at the last minute into this hardcore title match. And right now we're fixing to see the entrance of Skull Rider. Now he is an RCW Hall of Famer. The original RCW hardcore champion years and years ago when RCW was nothing more than a backyard fed. So what do you think his chances are tonight? Well, being that he's the um, very first hot champion way back in the day, it most, you know, it might happen here tonight. I honestly, odds on favor here tonight, this man here. I have to agree with you, and I'm telling you, the whole thing about the Wu-Tang Clan lately, you know, just collapsing, I mean, it's just, it really blows my mind. I mean, these three guys, Wu-Tang Man, Skull Rider, and Mr. Cool Daddy now, formerly known as Big Papa B. I mean, they were the three founders, you know, the original guys in the original RCW. I mean, they were the corporation in, in, in the original RCW. And now they all three just kind of went their own way here. And Wu-Tang Man, you know, I tried to talk to him earlier tonight about it. And he really just couldn't you know, really comment on it. I and mean, he's so focused on this three stage of the hell match tonight that he really just couldn't be bothered with what's going on with his best friend and his brother. I mean, they both just kind of shed the colors of the Wu-Tang Clan and went on their own separate ways. And right now, look at this. I tell you, the, the fans love this guy right here. Hardcore champion, none other than Chase. Uh, fans like him, yeah, but I don't know. It's just somewhat about him, which I don't like. I think it's just the main fact of He's the hardcore champion. I mean, he doesn't look hardcore. You know what I mean? He he looks like one of those. He could be. He looks like one of those people that could go against Richie Simmons. I'm sorry, Michael, but that's what I think. Well, I, I agree with you. When the first time I saw Chaser, I didn't expect much out of him. And I mean, he just come in out of nowhere and just rose to the top of the mountain and got captured the hardcore title. I mean, he's a two-time hardcore champion already. You know, and we saw him, you know, he had that hardcore unification match. It was him, Crimson, and Adam when they unified the RCW and OFW hardcore titles. And Chaser pinned Adam in that match. You know, I mean, that to me was just, that says a lot. I mean, to be able to pin someone the likes of Adam, you know, well, it definitely gained a lot of respect in my eyes for, for Chaser. Well, you know, that was most probably one on Adam's bad day. You know, stuff like that happens, but... Tonight he's got to really show how hardcore he is as he's got two other guys going after the same title and he's actually showing he's pretty hardcore here by going straight out and getting a weapon. Oh, and using it to break up the cover. And look at that, it goes right after Nick Daniels and now Skull Rider's got that cheer. See what he's gonna do. Oh man, he just takes out Chaser with it. I mean, will you, do you reckon you'll see any double team teamwork here at all, man? Or do you reckon they're going to really... I mean... Personally, if, if, wait a minute. Skull Rider is setting Nick Daniels up right away here. He calls this the Skull Crusher. And there it is. It's like a modified Widow's Peak. And this could be it. Chaser's outside the ring now. This could be it. This match could be over right now. No. Nick Daniels is able to kick out. And now Chaser's got that sledgehammer here. That's what I was saying. Nope. Oh, carry on, yeah, Michael. go ahead. You can go, Michael. Now, I was just going to say, to uh, answer your question, I really don't know. I, I don't know if there's going to be any double team moves or if everyone's just going to kind of be on their own here. Oh, well, I would have thought, being that, you know, School Riders, the, to me, looks like the biggest guy in this match. If I was, you know, chasing him, 
and Daniels, I would, you know, try and take out him. He's, look, he's the biggest guy and he's got a sledgehammer, so that is not a good combination. Yeah, I agree with you all together. I mean, this is just Skull Rider. You know, he, he is definitely the biggest man. He's the biggest threat right now. Look at Chaser here just winding up all around and just takes Skull Rider down. I mean, you can't count Chaser or Nick Daniels out. I mean, both of them are, are capable of anything, especially Chaser. I mean, I've seen him in some very compromising situations, and he pulls out on top. You know, I mean, he's, he's definitely someone to, uh, to be reckoned with here. But, Right now, Skull Rider back in control, taking them both out, keeping them both off their feet. And now he's got that chair. Oh! Hitting him straight. This is getting a hardcore pretty quick end. It's falls counts anyway, isn't it, Michael? Am I right? It's been at false counts anyway? Yes, sir. False count anywhere. No DQ, no count out. Uh, it's just straight up hardcore match. Any three of these guys can pin any of them and become the new hardcore champion. Oh. And look at this, Nick Daniels, he's with that daggum sledgehammer again. And now, now here we go. Now we're starting to see a little bit of double teaming like you were talking about. They must have heard you there, Daniel. I do talk pretty loud. <laughs> but as now, saying, Skull Rider's been taken out here. That's what I think they should do. He's the strong, I think the biggest, strongest guy there. Take out him, then start worrying about the next opponent. Because he's the biggest guy in this match. He's going to be, you know, he's... I would say he's the big equation of this match. You know, you take him down, you know, the match becomes pretty simpler for you to get a win. But now look at this. It's just all getting weapons and Dan's just celebrating in the ring. Oh, it's reversed then. Oh! Now Daniel, he's using that hardcore title as a weapon here. He took out both Skull Rider and Chaser with that hardcore title here. And now look at this. He's just beating the back of Chaser with that title. That title is like 10 pounds of gold here, and that's got to hurt getting hit right straight in the face with it. Now, now Skull Rider, he's got a submission locked in here. I cannot believe that Chase can get hit in the face with so many stuff and keeps them glasses on. How does he do that? I have no idea, but Nick Daniels has just been busted open by that last chair shot by Skull Rider here. Skull Rider is just like a dadgum shark in bloody water here, just going right after him, but took his eyes off of Chaser momentarily and Chaser right back in the match here. He, now he's got that four four title and look at that Nick Daniels takes it right away from him here. Slides to the outside. Chaser gets that chair and Nick Daniels don't want any part of it. But some people, uh, Michael, especially in hardcore match situations, when they see a side of their own blood, they get adrenaline going. It gets them rut no, it gives them a big adrenaline rush and it could make and you know, see some own blood could give them the big win, but did you just see a move by Chase on school rider? But he's not following up. I mean he he makes a big move and gets out of the ring here and oh wow, look at that, just does a complete backflip, takes out Nick Daniels here. And now Nick Daniels is out. Here's the cover. Skull Rider can't get into his feet. This may be it here. There. Wait a minute. What's going on here? The referee's hand went down for the three, and Skull Rider took out the ref. This match is continuing. I mean, that wasn't a, a solidified three count. But Skull Rider broke up the count. Oh, my God. I've never seen anything like that. Your referees are crazy. They need to be fired. I don't know. I mean, it's no DQ. It's hardcore, you know, and, and Skull Rider took the referee out before he was able to signify the win. I mean, Chaser, in my opinion, is the winner here. He successfully defended his title, but the match is still going on. And oh my oh god! My, wow! Skull Rider <laughs> takes them both out with a sled or with that dagger barbed wire two by four. And look at this. And now Nick Daniels with it. And wait a minute. Skull Rider with the roll up. Here's two, the count. Three. Oh, and oh. then it's over. So is this wow. for definite now? Is this definite? Yes, this is it. Skull Rider has won the hardcore title. That was just unbelievable. Oh, we saw Nick Daniels take out Chaser with the bar bar 2x4, and his Skull Rider just rolls him up and pinned him. I mean, oh my god, we have a new hardcore champion. Unbelievable. That was a really, I would say, historic moment here for RCW, Michael. I've never seen that happen before. Never, never in my life. And you know Chaser's going to demand a rematch. <laughs>